Nicholas, welcome to the Digimedia Pro's expo coverage here at SIGGRAPH 2016. And you are with Aura, am I pronouncing it right? Yes, Aura. Yeah. Perfect. And uh, you're from France. Is the company from France? Yes. We are both from France and the US. Yes. Both from France and the US. So uh, tell us about Aura. What do you guys do? So Aura is a 360 camera. Um, so there is four lenses. Right. And the goal is to make a camera which is simple to use to make live in virtual reality. So this camera is connected to the box here. And, and when you combine the both, we can live stitch uh, a VR video directly for, to YouTube, for instance, in a matter of you know a few seconds. Okay. And so we make this camera to really allow people to make live in virtual reality over YouTube or any platform in real time. I see. So you could stream live uh, 360 through yes. YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Probably not Facebook. I don't think Facebook gives you that. So now. Facebook doesn't do. Right. They, they do live. They do 360. They don't do both. They don't do both. Yeah. So far. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you have a. It's a separate box. So you you have this. You have the camera that's connected via a cable yeah. to the processing box, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I do a little 360 shooting, and yeah. um, I know that you have to hide stuff. Yeah. So how does that work from a production perspective, right? So you mean hide because of the... Well, you have to hide the cable, the box. Where do you put the box? Um, so the box can be, you know, can be under the camera. Okay. And then you, like, you will see it on the images, but it will be very tiny, so... Most people won't notice it, but otherwise the cable can be 100 meter long. So you know, if you think about the use case about the concert, you can easily have several aura on the stage and have you know in backstage all the stitching box and right. do your editing there, right. and then you won't see obviously you know the box on stage. And then there's outputs of the box to go to a computer for live streaming, or yeah. do you live stream from the box directly? So the box directly like. You can, can do several things, but you can record the video and you can record both the sources, so the, the four different images, or you can record the stitch video. And you can also send the video directly to a server such as YouTube. And in that case, you know, it's, you just plug an Ethernet cable, you have to have an Ethernet connection, of Ethernet. course. And then the, uh, this box encodes the video and send it to a RCMP to YouTube directly. Right. And when it records the video, what format is it uh, recording in? So it's a, it's a 4K video, it's an equi-rectangular 4K video. And when we compress it and to send it to YouTube, we use like 264 and ArchMP for the protocol. I see. And you said it's 4K. Yeah, it's 4K video. All, yeah. all around. Yeah, yeah. And it's a full 360, right? Up and down. Yeah, everything. up and down. So we cover everything. This is why there is, you know, a chin-chin between the lenses, so we can cover the 360 in real time. Right, right, right. It overlaps. Each yeah. camera overlaps. I see. And then uh, you can bring this in uh, after stitching into any editing software. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. And what is the cost of this? Uh, so the camera costs three thousand six hundred dollars. Okay. With the camera and the stitching box and the software that goes with it. Okay. Uh, but right now we are on pre-order, so for people who buy it before the end of August, the price is two thousand two hundred dollars. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. All right. So it's a. And, and the shipping will start uh, end of September. So oh, so you're not shipping yet. No. Oh, I see. In September. Okay, and that'll ship everything, the box, the camera, yes, the yeah. software. Yes. Is it your proprietary software? Yes. So the company starts as a video stitch. Uh, oh. and, and we have, so today we have two software and one hardware, and we have two other software. Yeah. One is called Video Stitch Studio, and the other one is Vanavia, which is a live stitching software. I see, I see. But you can stitch it with anything, right? Yeah, we, we, with Video Stitch Studio and Vanavia, it's, uh, you can use you know, any type of camera, so you know, TV, yeah, you use a Ricoh or yeah. a Samsung you know, Gear VR or GoPro camera. Uh, but, but when you are trying to do live, you know, this camera, uh, when we decide to make this camera, we really think about how to make the live you know, very simple to do. And, and if you look at it, you know, there is a single cable that goes from, from the camera to, to right. the stitching box. And, you know, we make this choice to make it very easy to use. So you, you don't have to have like 12 cables between a GoPro and a computer. And it's really portable. You can have this in your backpack, and you can, you know, easily live stream you know, wherever you are. So, is your target audience uh, like concerts? People wanting to uh, stream live concerts or live events? Is that the main thing you're going after? Yeah. So, so concerts is a big use case. Uh, a blue sport, you know, like basketball is, is a very compelling use case. But you can use really, you can use this camera for any type of application. Like for education, you know, you can live stream. Uh, a classes at Stanford, for instance, and, and you know, yeah. like, you don't have to drive there to attend the classes. You can just, you know, 
put a VR headset and just right. add on the glasses. And each camera requires a box, or can you attach multiple cameras into a box? So today, each camera requires a box. I see. So if you want to do switching, you put the outputs to a switcher. Yes. Exactly. I see. OK, and if people want to find out more about you guys, where do they go? So uh, you can go to ora.co, so O-R-A-H.co. Perfect. Well, great to meet you, Nicholas.